Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing build your own dream home tag and I'm really excited for this. I originally saw it from Katie's channel. I will link her channel below and I've seen a couple of other people do it and I just thought it looked like a fun tag so I thought I would do it. So I will um, just start off, I think there's like 20 questions. So I'll just start off from the beginning. The first question is acreage or city lot? And I would love to have acreage. We are on a very small lot where we are right now and there's like really not room for anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> there's, we probably couldn't even put a swing set in our backyard with the way we have it landscaped right now. So I would definitely say acreage. Number two, basement or crawl space? Um, I've never had either, so I don't know that I have a preference, but I think basement sounds kind of cool, <laughs> so I would go with that. Number three, attached or detached garage? I I guess I don't have a preference. Right now we have an attached garage, but if we had acreage, I know a lot of houses have a detached garage and like a workshop or something, which I know Jeremy would enjoy that, so I detached is fine with me. Number four, wood or vinyl siding? Um, I'd probably say I like the way wood looks. Like My parents have some really nice wood siding on their house in Oregon. I would die to have some wood siding like that on a new house. Number five, brick or stone accent? Um, I don't know. I can see either way. I don't know that I have really an opinion either way. I do like the way brick looks and I've seen a lot of brick like painted white that I kind of like and even just natural brick. I don't mind that. And stone accents, that sounds good to me too. We don't really have any of that here, so <laughs> either of those is good. Number six, one, two, or three story? I would say one. We have a one story house right now, and I really like a one story house. With two kids, it's just, it would be a nightmare bringing laundry up and down the stairs. One story is good. Number seven, hardwood floor, tile, carpet on main floors. Um, we have kind of had both, I guess. In our old house, we had kind of like a fake hardwood floor, which I really liked. And we have carpet throughout our house right now, which I like that, but our padding is not very good. So if we had carpet again, I'd definitely say like upgrade the padding because it's kind of hard. Even if the boys fall on it, they bonk their head. It's, um, it can be painful. So, um, but I do like the way hardwood floor looks like, and I would go with that. You can always lay rugs down and stuff. How many bedrooms? Okay, let's see here. Well, <laughs> um, a lot, <laughs> at least. I'm saying if we do move in the future, which I'm hoping that we do, considering that the market is getting a little bit better, I'm hoping for like either a four or five bedroom. We have a four bedroom kind of now. One of them is kind of like a den, so I don't know that it really qualifies as a bedroom in my eyes. There's no closet or anything, but I would say a four or five bedroom considering we have two boys, we need a bedroom, Jeremy needs an office because he works from home, and if we have another kid or two, like, we're just going to need more room. Okay, number nine, how many bathrooms? I don't know, we have two bathrooms right now, but we really only use one, so I'd be fine with two. <laughs> we don't really need more than that. Number 10, walk-in closet or end suite, and I think end suite means like an, uh, like a bathroom attached to the bedroom and we have both of them in this house and I think we had both in our old house too that's kind of how they build them here so I would say both <laughs> if I had to choose though um I guess a walk-in closet if I didn't have a bathroom in here number 11 jacuzzi tub or separate shower we have both right now I like having it separate. I don't like having like the tub and the shower head in one. I like having a separate shower, but if I just had a shower and no tub, I'd be fine with that. I don't, I'm not really a bath person. The boys take baths, but I, I don't. Gas or electric stove? Um, I've never had gas. I can't say, but I know it's more efficient and I wouldn't be opposed. Cherry oak or white kitchen cupboards. I would definitely say white kitchen cupboards. I really like the way that looks and with like a nice like color in the back walls like I think it would look really nice so white cupboards for sure number 14 cozy eating nook or large dining room we have a dining room and we don't use it at all we have a dining room table but it's like pushed up against the wall so the boys can have like all their toys in there I 
And we have an eating nook as well. We only use the eating nook, so I would say eating nook is perfectly fine with me. Number 15, office or guest room. We definitely need an office because Jeremy works from home, so would prefer an office. Number 16, bright modern colors or neutral. I kind of like more neutral like earth tones. Number 17, curtains or blinds. I would say blinds. I've never really had curtains. I guess if we have curtains, they're like over blinds, <laughs> just for like looks, so blinds. Number 18, home gym or kids playroom. Definitely kids playroom. I don't need a gym. I, I don't, I don't use any of like the treadmills or any of that stuff. I just work off of like a DVD. So I can do that anywhere with my computer, but definitely kids playroom because we do not have that here, which I would really like. Number 19, swimming pool, hot tub, or swing set. Definitely a swing set. I Costco has an amazing swing set, and every time we go there, the boys are like, oh, we want to get it. Like, it wouldn't fit in our backyard. It wouldn't even fit in our house. Like, it's just so big. So definitely a swing set on, like, acreage would be awesome. Number 20, flower garden or vegetable garden. I, if I had to pick one, I would definitely do vegetable garden. We do have a vegetable garden here, and I love it. Well, we have maybe three vegetable three yeah and an herb garden so i definitely want a vegetable garden we like to grow stuff obviously it's not enough to feed our whole family all the time but it's fun and it's fun to experiment but i if we had acreage i would also like a flower garden i would just want like a huge wild flower garden i don't even like want to organize the seeds i just want to like sprinkle them everywhere and just maybe leave a little path so we can like walk through it, it sounds really appealing to me Anyways, that is the um, build your own dream home tag, and if you would like to do it, um, please do. I'm not going to tag anybody, but please um, let me know, you know, in the comments below if you did the tag. I'd love to watch it, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.